absolutely loving it. And let me tell you, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hey everyone, it's Cassie's Books. Welcome to my channel. I'm really excited. Today is Sunday, so I'm kind of doing like this chill reading vlog situation. I am about to go to Barnes & Noble and pick up the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series because I am doing a readathon this month that is super fun. So I'm going to continue reading that and then hopefully maybe read the first book of Bridgington or at least start it. I probably won't finish it today. So come along with me. We can go shopping, maybe get a drink. Let's see what happens. Hey. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Going for those toys. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Guys, it is so much later in the day. It's almost 10 o'clock here and I need to catch you up. So, I have been reading the Throne of Glass series and I am on hair of fire and I am on page 342 and absolutely loving it I'm really hoping to finish it maybe tonight if I'm feeling wild or I'll finish it tomorrow morning but at Barnes and Noble I did pick up Queen of Shadow so I can move on to the next one I've just been buying them as I read them because I was reading them really slowly but now I'm kind of starting to get up so I probably will grab the rest of them next time I go out to the store but my camera battery is super low so I feel like I'm gonna get cut off me and my husband had a pretty like chill evening, so I didn't get a chance to read that much yet. We have been watching Inventing Anna on Netflix, and let me tell you, this girl is freaking crazy. Like, like the level of con artists, like, I don't even understand. Like, why do these people believe her? Like, oh my goodness. Anyways, it's so good, and I still have two episodes left, and if you guys haven't watched it, each episode... It's like an hour and somewhere even longer than an hour and there's like nine episodes like this is a time commitment a very big time commitment so we've been watching like a whole like at least two episodes a day i swear for like the last week so we're trying to really like power through it but it's so good i absolutely love it it's very interesting anyways moving past that this book has been really interesting so in the last book uh what is it? Queen of Midnight, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Crown of Midnight. The last book was Crown of Midnight. And we left her like in like a really like precarious place. And I was like really like intrigued to see what would happen. I don't want to have any spoilers, but I feel like a lot of you guys have probably have already read this. But we do leave her kind of like going on to this new land. And I'm fi we finally get introduced to Rowan in this book. And I am very interested that happens. I have avoided pretty much all spoilers for the series, surprisingly. So I have no idea what's going on. In the last book, um, her love interest was Cole. Cole? I don't know how to say his name. Um, anyways, it was this Cole guy, Cal. I have no idea. And things went down with them. And yeah, they had a big falling out. It was no good. She is vicious. <laughs> it's very intense. So I'm really enjoying the second or this third book. I think it's her character is starting to really develop more and kind of get like more substance, like not less like a, not like it's bad, but she's kind of like a stereotypical bad butt girl, like angry and killer, whatever. That's kind of like a stereotypical feel in the first two books. But in the third book, we finally kind of get some more depth to her character and more like background information, which I'm absolutely loving. And I'm really intrigued by this Rowan character and I'm excited to see where that goes. She has like a lot of responsibilities coming at her and I absolutely love that we get so many different point of views. It's making this so interesting. Like we get to hear, not from Rowan, I want to hear from Rowan guys. Uh, I'm really hoping that's later on or in the next book. But we get to hear hers, we get to hear Cole's, we get to hear Dorian's, we get to hear Manon, which is the Blood Witch, I think it's Blood Witch Tribe Witches, which is super intriguing. Like what's going on with those 
I don't know how to say that. Those like little dragon beast wyrmen? I have no idea. I don't know how to say that word. But it's super interesting and I'm really enjoying it. And I'll make sure to update you guys when I finish it. And then hopefully I can get to this. I did kind of want to read Bridgington. I have the, um, I want to read the first one, The Duke and I. But I'm probably going to do a separate vlog for that because the new season's coming out, guys. And I'm so excited. The new season's about the Vis Viscount who loved me, I think. Um, I'll make sure to insert the right one. But I am really excited to read that series, but I almost want to just power through this and then read all of Julia Quinn. That is my TBR, and I'm trying to very much stay focused on it. So wish me luck. I'm going to read more of this tonight, and then I will update you guys later. Blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life away. Okay guys, I wanted to give you an update. I am on chapter 58 for 90. So I only have like, I don't know, a very small portion of the book left. I'm almost done with it. Yes, almost done. It is so good. I am um, like, oh my goodness. I like stopped at a part where like pretty much all the stuff is happening or all the stuff that happened in the book is pretty much done. She has to go talk to Maeve, her aunt now. So she is going to go do that. But oh my goodness, she is a reborn new woman and I'm loving it. Um, I'm going to finish it tomorrow. It is 1130 and I need to go to bed because my daughter is going to wake up way too freaking early tomorrow. I already know it. She likes to torture me. And if you hear clicking, that's my husband playing games in the background. Yes, very fun. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow and give you an update. Definitely gonna finish it tomorrow. Good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Good morning, I guess slash afternoon. It's like 11 o'clock here. My coffee is semi-cold. Um, if that's not the definition of mom life, then I don't know what it is, but update. I read a little bit more this morning, but not much. I have like about 60 pages left. So it's kind of just like wrapping up at the end. I am super enjoying it. I, I'm kind of obsessed and I'm really excited to move on to the next book after. But before I do that, I do have to like plan out my week. So this is what I do guys. I work from home. So I like to write out everything that I want to do for like my content and also like what I need to get done for work. So usually I just like erase everything and then write it out week by week. I'm sure there's like way better systems out there. But for me, like having something, I need it like right in front of me. I've tried all those like Trello, Asana, like all these like planning things inside, um, on the computer and they just don't work for me um I do plan out like some stuff that I'm gonna post on Instagram and Trello um but that's pretty much it most of it is just like big ideas that I keep in there otherwise I'm pretty like on the fly type of girl and I just like write everything out on here so okay we got that erased didn't do that I do need to do this okay so you guys can watch me plan out some stuff if you're into that pack our bags and get in that car leave a little note and we'll drive real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air okay i think yeah, i am done i have it semi-worked out the wind blowing i think i'm going to do some work and then probably read some more and hopefully finish this book today.
oh my goodness guys I just finished the book holy crap like oh my god I'm super excited for the next one like no spoilers or anything but oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness I am so excited Ugh. all right I definitely want to start this one right away but I had to do some stuff to do but oh my goodness thank you guys for coming along on this little reading vlog I know it was like kind of short but it's okay I super enjoyed reading this book oh my goodness I am like finally like super getting into this series I'm sad that there's so many books left but that's okay I definitely need to pick them up I will talk to you guys later make sure to follow me over at Cassie's books on Instagram and like and subscribe I post bookish videos every Tuesday and Friday so I will catch you guys later